And with us in the studio now is Tom Heron, lead green associate and senior manager of communications at the National Fenestration Rating Council. How long have you been in fenestration? I've been in fenestration for about seven years now. That's when, certainly... did, when did you first hear the term? <laughs> I, I, I thought it was like a legal theory of some kind. It's you know, not... there are a number of uses for that term, actually. It's also a medical term, and it's, it's certainly not a word that you hear every day. But I've always been involved in the construction industry in one form or another, and uh, so I've known about the word fenestration for a long time. So the NFRC, what, what do you do? I'm the... Um, what does your organization do? Well, NFRC educates consumers. The most important thing to know is that we serve the public and not the industry. And one of the main things we do is empower consumers who are in the market for energy efficient windows. Now, it's important to know that we don't recommend products, but what we do is educate people. They can come to us to get the objective, unbiased information they need to make comparisons before they actually make a purchase. You hear ads uh, on the radio, you see ads in the newspaper, all the time for replace your your windows uh, who needs to replace their windows do, do you know well there are a number of reasons people would replace windows and a lot of times it's because it's not operable anymore people have a uh, a problem opening and closing the window maybe it's become damaged and then typically we find that's when people start to pay attention to energy efficiency they're looking at new windows anyway so let's make sure that we make the most of our, our purchase and we get something that's energy efficient it's going to make our home more comfortable that's also a big aspect of it we uh, we were talking before the program and, and when you were a child there was a particular <laughs> window that you thought was the greatest thing ever. I did, and today probably not many people involved with green construction or sustainability or energy efficiency would agree with me, but yeah, my uh, grandparents had single pane aluminum windows and the ice would literally form on the inside. And I thought it was great because I'd be drawing faces and you know, here 20, 35 years later, I uh, <laughs> realized that that wasn't the greatest thing after all. Well, what a fabulous toy. <laughs> um, so let's talk about some basics. The, the uh, uh, piece of a window that you have with you is double or is that triple pane? What's in there? This is a uh, double pane window. You know, this is a very fun and exciting prop. A lot of people never even get the chance to see something like this. And what's yeah, important... Hopefully not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what's so nice about it, though, is we can learn so much from it because being a cutaway of a window, it enables us to look and see you know, what's inside. Turn it a little that way and we'll be uh, the other direction. Keep going. Okay, that's perfect. There. Now we okay. can see what's inside. Great. So the important thing to know about this prop is that energy efficient windows tend to have multiple panes of glass, like we can see here, and they have certain films that go in between those panes. Oh, so what I was seeing wasn't a piece of glass. In so there's obviously on TV you can see two pieces of glass, but there's something in between them. Right. That's a film that we have in between there. I've never heard of that. What, what does it do? Well, it helps to make the product more energy efficient. Some windows will even have these certain harmless gas fills that go in between the panes of glass. And I know this is a, that's a lot of information and it sounds complicated, but it's really not. And we, our main thing is to help consumers understand how all these components and features work together to create a more energy efficient product. And we want to make consumers more knowledgeable and more confident so when they do go out to make a purchase, they feel good about it and they are, are more educated. I'm guessing that, that any, anybody, say they're buying a new house, they're builder's grade uh, doors and windows, it's still going to be double pane, but maybe not with all the bells and whistles. Well, there's uh, a lot of things that go into making an energy efficient window. There are double pane, there are triple pane, and there are even quad pane um, windows. How, how much does it help? Can you quantify it somehow? Well, you know, NFRC really, our work focuses on certifying the energy performance, and we're a ratings organization, so I actually don't have any information on the cost savings, but we do recognize that consumers, this is something that they want to know about, and that's a very natural question that would come up. They want to know how much they're going to be able to save. But the, the rating on this window would indicate whether uh, that, that film in the middle is doing something to improve your U factor, is that what it's called? The U factor, right, and that's a measure of heat loss. That tells you how much heat inside your home is literally escaping through the window. And that's really the most important thing to know about all this is that we have all these different features and components and they can be assembled in many different ways. But what really matters is the numbers that you find on the NFRC label because this is what's really going to make your home more energy efficient and more comfortable like we talked about. You know, the other thing I, I think when I, when I see something that complicated is that when the baseball comes flying over from the neighbor's yard and 
cracks one of those panels, it's going to be a whole lot more complicated to replace than your, your grandparents' window was. <laughs> you know, there are actually uh, some windows that are impact resistant, and obviously these are very important in Florida. And sometimes you go to certain trade shows and they'll fire a two by four right into the glass and it shows you how it absorbs the impact. Wow. So windows have come a long way since those windows that I was drawing on. <laughs> Let's take a phone call. This is George in Anne Arundel County. George, thanks for the call. Go ahead. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, I'm wondering if um, your guest has any info that uh, uh, he could share regarding the impact of a the, the low E or and or other types of uh, uh, modern window um, uh, technology that might have on the growing of plants on the inside of the house. Okay, thanks very much. What, what is low E first off? Low E is a low emissivity coating, and that's actually a very thin coating that goes on the glass itself, and it helps contribute to the energy performance. We actually don't have any information on how that might affect plant life. All our information is about energy efficiency. Noise, do you take a look at noise? I mean, it's got to help when you have a couple of layers separating you from the highway uh, down the street. There are other organizations that do um, ratings on the noise. NFRC is all about the energy efficiency performance. Do you have a view of the type of window? I remember uh, talking years ago to a, to a home builder and there's different types of double hung windows and the kind that tilt in um, are way easier to clean because mm -hmm. you can tilt it in and right. clean the outside. But I remember this fellow saying that, that just because of the nature of the design, uh, they're just not going to give you a tight seal, especially over time. Do you have any, any view of that? Well, there are a, a lot of different kinds of windows. The double hung, as you mentioned, there's windows where both um, areas of the glass will move. Uh, the tilt and turn, like you talked about, do make it easier for cleaning. But again, what's really important is, with all these factors is the numbers that you see on, on the label. That'll really give you the idea of how energy efficient it's going to be. And it calculates the, the whole performance of the window, not just the uh, different factors of it. We, we provide our ratings based on the overall performance. Let's go out to Baltimore City. This is uh, Leroy. Uh, sir, thank you for calling. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Sure. I have some vintage windows, to say the least. They are the old storm windows. I had a bad experience with these replacement windows, and I was wondering whether the storm windows were still available. So, so you have everything except that, that storm window that goes in place of the screen? Yes. Okay, thanks very much. Yes. That may be a go to the hardware store. Uh, that, that is kind of, there are storm windows still available. And before we wrap this up, what's the most important thing for somebody to know if they're shopping for new windows? Well, the most important thing to know if you're shopping for new windows is to always look for that NFRC label. That's your assurance that it's been independently tested and certified by a third-party organization. Very good. Tom Heron with the National Fenestration Rating Council. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Thursday.